We also have Parmesha with us. Uh, Parmesha, what does this really mean for Boris Johnson? And if you can compare this to previous uh, confidence uh, votes. Well, first of all, Divya, Boris Johnson is just about reeling from last night. The UK PM is trying to bounce back from the booze. Boris Johnson was clinging to his premiership last night after 148 of his MPs voted to oust him from Downing Street in a ballot that exposed potentially fatal rifts within his party. The Prime Minister won the support of 211 MPs, but 41% of his party voted to get rid of him, with many citing his lack of repentance over the Partygate scandal. It was indeed the worst verdict on a sitting UK Prime Minister by their own party in recent times. Now, although Johnson and his allies claimed the vote as a victory, many Conservative MPs, including some of his supporters, believe the attempted coup is just the beginning of the end for his three-year premiership. Johnson is theoretically safe from another leadership challenge for a year under the rules of the 1922 committee. But Theresa May was forced to leave office just six months after a winning confidence ballot, having been terminally damaged despite winning by 200 votes to 117. Now, the proportion of MPs who voted against Johnson is even greater than the votes against May in 2018 and greater than the ones for Margaret Thatcher in 1990. What is interesting to note is the scale of the rebellion. Now, this means some government ministers and government aides must have voted against Johnson in the secret ballot while remaining publicly supportive. Speaking after the result, Boris Johnson insisted it was an extremely good, positive, conclusive, decisive result that would allow him to move on to unite and focus on delivery. The UKPM also declined to rule out calling a snap election, although he said he was not interested in that idea. However, rebel MP said Johnson should quit for the good of the party and for the good of the United Kingdom. For example, we have Sir Roger Gale, one of Johnson's leading critics, saying a Prime Minister of Honour should realise he had lost the support of a sizeable number of his MPs. He suggested rebels would continue to oppose Johnson remaining as Prime Minister. But if we talk about everyday bread and butter stuff that matters, in the UK, soaring inflation, bloated National Health Service waiting lists, a broken housing market, these are just some of the challenges that the Tories face under Boris Johnson. Whether you live in the North or South, whether you're a Remainer or a Lever, most people in the UK say they just want a Prime Minister who isn't actively embarrassing and can swiftly get a grip. If history tells us some things, so John Major in 1995 and Theresa May in 2018 both won confidence votes with a bigger proportion of the MPs supporting them. So John was crushed in a general election two years later. Mrs May, as we know, was out of power six months later. However, this one is different right now. Boris Johnson can point to his own thumping majority from the last election for a start. But the simple truth is, when more than four in ten of your own MPs think the country would be better off without you, you have a serious problem.